Hey guys, welcome to Digit and Motorola has finally brought the Moto Z smartphones to India. They are the modular smartphones from Motorola and possibly one of the best takes on modular that we have seen uh, even though it's one of the new newest and uh, it's as new as say LG's uh, but it seems like a better idea than LG's in the sense that Motorola's Moto Mods are much easier to fit. They don't need your phone to be turned off. They don't need the OS to be turned off completely. They don't need the battery to be pulled off. And they already have a bunch of mods which seem quite interesting. You can see a lot of them here. They have the Hasselblad True Zoom mod, which is of course the newest mod that was announced uh, very recently. Uh, there's also the JBL Sound Boost mod, which adds an extra speaker to your smartphone. There's the Moto Instashare Projector mod. There are Incipio's uh, battery mods, which add a battery power, extra battery to your device, and Moto's own customizable backs are also uh, available as mods now. They will both fit these two devices, the Moto Z and the Moto Z Play. The Moto Z, of course, is the flagship device out of these. It will cost you as much as your flagship uh, usually do, like the Samsung Galaxy S7s of the world. Uh, but that's something that's pretty much expected. It, it has a 5.19 mm thickness, which is uh, more like thinness, not thickness. Uh, yeah, that's quite slim. But of course, that's meant to be that way because of the mods, because uh, the Hasselblad True Zoom mod, for example, is a thick mod, but surprisingly not as heavy as you would seem, you would think this mod would be. Uh, similarly, and many of these mods can be uh, you know, thick and uh, bulky, but that is why the Moto Z needs to be thin as well. And honestly, on first impressions, it feels like a really nice phone. It's got all the Motorola uh, things to it. It's got the various Moto features, the gestures, the voice recognition. Uh, those things are already there. It's got a QHD display, so that's a flagship feature as, uh, as well. It's got a Snapdragon 820 processor while the Moto Z Play runs on the Snapdragon 625. Uh, the Z Play also has 3GB of RAM whereas the Moto Z has 4GB of RAM and uh, the Z Play has a 16 megapixel camera whereas the Z has a 13 megapixel camera and uh, the Z Play basically is meant for the battery though. This one has a 3500 mAh battery where the Moto Z has a 2600 mAh battery, but we shall see what the battery lives compared to in real life performance once we get these for review. We will have all of these with the mods for review and we are really, really looking forward to them as well. Uh, on first impressions, both the Moto Z and the Moto Z Play do look like really innovative and really competitive smartphones. We are shooting this a little ahead of the launch, so we don't know the prices yet. What we do know is that the Moto Z will cost you anywhere in the flagship range, while the Z Play will be more aggressively priced. So we do not know yet what that would mean, but let's hope for the best. And we do not have a pricing for the mod ecosystem yet. This is also something that you will have uh, by the time you watch this video. Both these devices will of course be available in India on online market very soon and possibly on offline as well. Uh, the Moto Z Play has a glass on its back while the Moto Z uh, has metal on its back which is, uh, I mean, it really comes down to your uh, personal preference which one you really like. Both feel quite premium, both feel like uh, really well-made smartphones. They don't look, you can't see a you know, crevice anywhere. You can't see something that would uh, be really off about these devices. Of course, the Z Play has a headphone jack where the Z does not have a headphone jack, but the Z does come with the USB adapter, the Type-C adapter, in order to use your regular headphone jack with them. Uh, both the phones are, of course, innovative. You will get uh, them in India very soon. The 5.5-inch displays on both of them uh, while the Moto Z has a QHD display, the Moto Z Play has a 1080p Full HD display. Uh, and again, on first impressions, there's really nothing much to complain about these devices. It'll all depend on the pricing of uh, what Motorola chooses. The Moto Z looks like a really 
nice and innovative flagship device and honestly if you could choose a phone today if you add, if you could spend say 50000 rupees on a phone today and then just keep adding to it over the years then why not i mean that seems like a pretty good value proposition right and the same goes for the moto z play but at a lower price that's it for now we will be reviewing these phones very soon so stay tuned for more information then